Hey guys, welcome back to Cop Tool. I'm Scott alongside Rob, and it is Friday, February 8th. Milwaukee and Nissan both show us things that we can't have. And we wake up Clint and Kenny with a Ryobi bidet. Those stories and more are coming up next. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. We start this week off with Matt Reisinger and his buddy Jordan Smith, who traveled all the way to Munich, Germany to explore the Bow Show, Europe's biggest construction fair. They spend two days wandering the show and go out of their way to highlight material and techniques from Europe that are rarely, if ever, seen here in the States. Apparently, the Europeans have yet to figure out how to hold up their buildings with a 30% freedom and cheeseburger compound like we use. With over 50 minutes of content spread across two videos, you're going to want to settle in with a cheeseburger of your own. You can find both videos at Matt Reisinger on YouTube. Anyone else remember back in 2001 when BMW refreshed the 5 Series with a set of halo lights? Well, it officially took 18 years to work its way to the construction industry as BNN just announced a new series of drywall sanders with a similar halo design. The new ring of LEDs does a brilliant job of lighting up drywall, easily highlighting imperfections in your work, so you're sure to get a perfect finish every time. Tools by Design found these clever sanders over at World of Concrete and just posted a good look at them on Instagram. You can find them at Tools by Design. We're all used to seeing Scott Brown build amazing things with Makita tools, so this week, he felt like turning the spotlight to his small yet important collection of DeWalt saws. Scott goes into great detail on both his miter saw and his job site table saw and tells us why he chose to go yellow whenever he goes big. Scott is convinced that the larger DeWalt tools are built better than the Makita counterparts, but we're hesitant to take his word for it as he reveals that after 10 years of use, he's only today discovering how to properly utilize the miter index to make unusual degree cuts. We're not judging you, Scott, but your work speaks for itself. If you think Scott's wrong and you feel a powerful need to defend Makita online, you can do so at Scott Brown Car Carpentry on YouTube. Now it's common for work vans and VCG trailers to be customized to the tradesmen that use them, but Nissan decided to push the limits of their European NV300, turning it into a full-blown mobile woodworking shop. The concept vehicle was revealed last month at the Brussels Motor Show in Belgium. Every inch of the cargo van has been carefully planned and organized to its absolute limits. They also showed off their new Energy Roam Power Pack, made from Second Life batteries rescued from old Leaf EVs. Now, unfortunately, the concept is a one-off build from a British design studio, but I'm willing to bet I can probably pull this off myself. Just need a van, you know, and the tools, and a battery pack, and a bunch of free time, and some talent. You know what? Never mind. Forget it. You can read more about it at CNET.com. But enough of all that. Let's see what Sarah's found in her projects of the week. Hey guys, this week I found a couple giant projects that I cannot wait to show you. The first one is from Brian Benham on YouTube. Brian makes this huge custom receptionist desk for a local art gallery in Colorado. He used solid cherry wood for the face of the cabinets and then some cherry face plywood for most of the structural parts. Now, this thing is crazy big and full of a lot of fun details, like a hidden drawer, frosted glass panels, and a corner display. Not only is this beast beautiful, but it also has functionality, which is really important for everyday use. Check it out for yourself over on his YouTube channel. Now, I found this next project on Instagram from Jeff Mac Designs. He makes these globally amazing wooden maps with walnut, magnets, and LED lights. It's absolutely beautiful, and I'm obsessed with it. Now, this one is not the first one that he's posted, but I couldn't help but share it with you guys. And for an added bonus, it can double as a risk board. Check out this project and many, many more from Jeff Mac Designs over on Instagram. Now, those are my picks that I have for this week. If you find a project that you think I should feature on the show, go ahead and send it to me in an email at projects at coptool.com. Earlier this week, the European version of Milwaukee's NPS 19 took place in Europe, I'm assuming, where Milwaukee announced two new sizes of their high output battery series. Joining the current 6 and 12 amp hour comes a new 8 and 3 amp hour version, the latter of the two wearing the designation of CP30, which was great fun for us because it took Rob 10 minutes to realize that R2-D2's taller companion is C3PO, not CP30. Shut up. These batteries should fill out the high output series just fine, and we're already anxiously awaiting to see who puts the 3 amp hour version on Milwaukee's 9 inch grinder first. My money's on 60 seconds to empty. If then. You can read more about the new batteries on our Instagram account, at CopTool. Block Lotter. The name is synonymous with hardworking tradesmen and the nearly indestructible gear they wear to get the job done. Even I feel tough wearing my Block Lotter jacket and jeans here on the set. Dude, this hasn't seen rain, much less a job site. Dude, shut up. <clears throat> shut up. See, tough guy. Every year, Block Ladder blesses us all with the Holy Book of Workwear, also known as the Block Ladder Catalog, but 
For some reason this year, they thought us tough guys wanted to see a hard rock montage of the catalog's photo shoot where models pretend to work and for some reason do backflips? Is, is this tough guy stuff? I don't know. You can get pumped about the catalog too at Block Ladder Workwear on YouTube. Dude, there's still tags on these. Dude, I need extra, all right? These Your nails look good. Oh, thank you. That was a trick. Don't cut that point. You would think after 46 episodes, we would have easily covered every bizarre tool to wear the Ryobi name. Nope. Nope, indeed. This week, the Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing YouTube channel featured the Ryobi Pressure Washer Water Broom. The clever dual function tool works as either a water broom, sweeping mud from your sidewalks, or rotates upward towards your undercarriage, where it effectively gets mud out of all your hard to reach cracks and crevices. We were going to make a bunch of wildly inappropriate jokes here, but as it turns out, every possible undercarriage joke was already made in the comments on their video. So instead of getting our channel all dirty, we figured we'd just send you over to theirs. You can find it at Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing on YouTube. Before we wrap up here today, we wanted to check in with our friends at Pro Tool Reviews, who apparently have been working on a 30-piece impact comparo. To find out how it's coming, let's check in with them live at beautiful Lakeland, Florida. Guys? Oh, shoot. Are they asleep? I'd really hate for them to wake up! No, 1,800 inch pounds. Oh, hey, Rob. Thanks for having us. Morning, guys. So, first question, why? Because if you're shopping for an impact driver, there's a staggering 30 options. We just want to help people know what to buy. Hmm. Yeah, so we decided we'd just test all 30 of them and share results in a comprehensive series of articles and videos. All right, that sounds cool. So when can we see them? Uh, this Monday, February 11th. <sighs> okay, I'm guessing it was a lot of work testing that many impacts. So many impact drivers. Aw. I think we'll let the poor guys get some rest. There's no way we're gonna miss this legendary Comparo and neither should you. So like us, be sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel and check back with them on Monday at ProToolReviews.com. Hey guys, thanks a lot. That's gonna wrap up our 46th episode. Congratulations to Gerald Liu who won last week's rigid prize and prize pack. Uh, Rob, what can they win this week? So this week you can actually win a Makita XFD11 drill driver, a two amp hour battery, and a rapid charger. Man, nice. Yeah. So go check that out again at coptool.com slash contest. And if you're looking for that sweet Coptool gear, go check out our Teespring store. You can find it at coptool.com. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and that limited edition February t-shirt. So go and check that out. And last of all, all the cool stuff you've seen in our show, remember, if you want to buy it for yourself, be sure to check out ohiopowertool.com. They've got everything at the best prices. It's where we get all of our stuff too. That's right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Hey, guys. Oh, oh coffee. coffee. Thanks, man. Is that the new Skill 20 Volt?